Smith and Nelson in the morning on 94.9 KISS FM. What they tweet, what they do, it's what's making news in the world of country music. This is the Music City 60 on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is your Music City 60, and when Winona Judd announced she was doing the Judd's final tour, it kind of sounded like Martina McBride will be kind of taking Naomi Judd's place as the very special guest. Uh, turns out she won't be the only one. Uh, there will be iconic guests at different stops in the tour. Details are still being ironed out, but we know some of the performers include Little Big Town, Ashton Bride, Trisha Yearwood, Brandy Carlisle, and Faith Hill. Be pretty fun, uh, pretty fun, like every different night. Absolutely. And different, different guests and yeah, stuff. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, good way for people who were influenced by the Judds, maybe, to kind of pay tribute to Naomi Judd, yeah, for sure. Right. Uh, Brad Paisley did an interview with Ellen the other day, which I think she's in the final run here, I think. I think in May is when the show wraps I, up. I thought it was over, and then I keep seeing stories <laughs> about how, like, oh, yeah, it's like this it, person popped up on yeah, Ellen to say goodbye. It's jam-packed with big-name guests. I mean, it always has big-name guests. Sure. Uh, the, you know, they're doing it up for the big final run. But anyway, talking about how he joined his first band at the age of 13. Says his first band was him at, a, him at 13 and a bunch of senior citizens. Okay. Brad says, I was this little guy that had a band of senior citizens. We were named the C-Notes. That was our fee, hundred dollars. <laughs> said my friends called them the seniles instead of the C notes. They were all Korean War veterans that were playing with me. It was an amazing experience. They all dressed me too, which was kind of the problem. <laughs> Just imagine thirteen year old Brad Paisley running around, right? Bunch, bunch of senior citizens. citizens. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Craig Morgan was inducted into a Hall of Fame on Wednesday. Not a country music Hall of Fame. Not a, not a music related one at all, actually. Uh, the U.S. Field Artillery Hall of Fame. The honor recognizes the wide array of field artillery men and women who have contributed greatly to the branch, which Craig Morgan, Craig Morgan served 17 years combined in the U.S. Army and Army Reserves. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not the Hall of Fame most country artists are going into. No, it's it? not. <laughs> Uh, all right, how about Luke Combs? Luke Combs says he cried like a baby when he found out that his wife was pregnant. Gave an interview to a magazine. Says his girlfriend, or his wife, was on a girl's trip with friends. Came back, and they were kind of hanging on the bus. Luke says, I don't think I've told anybody about how she told me. I cried. I cried a lot. I was very excited on the bus. She told me it was just me and her on there. I would imagine happy tears. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> I guess that could go either way. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, happy tears. And, uh, yeah, just kind of like you'll be crying happy tears when you get a chance to fly away and see Luke Combs. There you go. All right. Chance to see him in Atlanta. Luke Combs code words. Those throughout the day with KISS and more details with your KISS FM mobile app. And now you're in the know with Nashville. Smith & Nelson's Music City 60. 94.9 KISS FM. Case pulled from the KISS FM mobile app. This is What's Going On Around Town on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is a collection of things happening here as we get into weekend mode. I suppose we should start with the ones that are happening today. Yeah, that makes sense. Bacon and Brew Fest is back. <laughs> there it is. Which is a pretty exciting thing. That kicks off at 4 o'clock today over at Karis Park, and that goes until 9 o'clock. It's going to have bacon. It's going to have beer. It's going to have music. It's going to be a good time. I mean, what more do you want? It's all in the title. Absolutely. Bacon and Brew Fest. Bacon there you go. and Brew Fest. Hopefully the weather holds out for it. I believe it's supposed to start raining around 3 o'clock, so we'll see what happens there. But, uh, yeah, Bacon and Brew Fest in Karis Park happening today. Weatherman is wrong plenty of times. That's true. If we if we will the, the sprinkles away, we'll, we'll all be good. All right, Bacon and Brew Fest, Karis Park this afternoon. Uh, how about Paddleheads Baseball tonight? Yes. Opening day is officially on Wednesday. But they're doing kind of a like a spring training exhibition kind of game tonight where it's a pretty cool deal. All the proceeds going to the United Way of Missoula. So $5 tickets get you into the game tonight. Yeah. And all that money goes to a great cause. That's an amazing thing right there. And it's going to be great. I mean, the Paddlehead season kicks off next week. So this is like your, your preview of uh, what the Paddleheads are going to be like for this season. All right. Uh, tomorrow, you've got the family's first 500. Yes. Which uh, puts you right back there at Ogram Park. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, right back at Ogram Park. Uh, and that, of course, is helping out families first. Uh, we got uh, Spartan Race, American Ninja Warrior, a Derby. It's all kind of smashed together. Uh, they're going to have so many cool different events, tire flipping and tunnel crawls. And, of course, they're going to have some live music from Showdown yeah. as well. Which you can also uh, kind of separate the activities. If you want to go in and do like kind of the uh, the events and the concert, right. there's tickets available for that. If you want the concert only, you can do it that way. Absolutely. And it all helps uh, Families First Learning Lab. They've been empowering Missoula families with parent education and learning through play. So you get a uh, fun day of events over at Ogren Park tomorrow with that. 
And then tomorrow as well, the uh, the Angelman Walk. Yes, which is happening over in Fort Missoula, correct? We had uh, we had Crystal in the other day talking about it. Fort Missoula, a 10 o'clock registration right around there. And then 11 o'clock, the actual walk. And it's all the benefit benefit uh, the Angelman Syndrome Foundation, right? Which is a Angelman Syndrome, rare neurogenetic disorder, and uh, just kind of the the first year they're doing it, so trying to get a, get it off the ground, yeah, get, it, get Mon- it running. Montana hadn't had one of these walks before, so uh, you know it's kind of like the inaugural version of it. Very exciting. Uh, Fort Missoula over near the baseball field. There. Want to know more? Open the Kiss FM mobile app for details. Smith and Nelson's Odds and Ends on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is. Some odds and ends for your morning, and this is pretty wild. Uh, you know the painting they used in the opening credits of Good Times back in the day? Uh, it was also the cover of Marvin Gaye's 1976 album, I Whoa. Want You. Uh, it's a really famous painting by Ernie Barnes called Sugar Shack, and it's so famous, it just sold for almost $15.3 million. Wow. Uh, that is 76 times more than what it was expected to go for. <laughs> Which is a lot. Uh, Jeez. The bidding lasted about 10 minutes. There's an edited one-minute version of it on TikTok. But, uh, yeah, $15.3 million for the painting from Good Time. A little off on the guesstimate there. A little bit. Jeez. Uh, this is kind of an interesting story. It says Coca-Cola is debuting a brand-new bottle where the cap doesn't come off. It says it twists off, but then it stays attached to the rim of the bottle. Apparently, they think it'll allow uh, people to recycle easier. Okay. And also not lose the cap to the uh, to the bottle. Interesting. All yeah. right. <laughs> Seems like it's weird it's taking this long for that to become a thing. <laughs> Just like but, your sunglasses. People, you put the little ropes on the right, thing, like they yeah. don't fall off your neck. Yeah, Seems like this would have been thought of a long time ago. You would think so. Uh, MTV announced on Wednesday that it is developing Jersey Shore 2.0, a reboot with an all-new, younger cast. But apparently, the original cast of Jersey Shore... Not happy about it. Uh, Snooki put this out there on Twitter, a statement from the cast, which says, As a cast that took a chance with a network in need, (laughs) we put our most vulnerable moments in television for the world to see. We gave our all over the past 13 years, became a family, and continued to open our lives to the world. Uh, The thing is, they're still on MTV, and the ending of the statement says, By the way, don't forget to tune into an all-new season of Jersey Shore Family (laughs) Vacation. (laughs) Coming up pretty soon. Oh, boy. Love that. I love that they're like, oh, we took a chance on the network. The yeah. network didn't take a chance on us. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, nobody knew our name, and we thought, we'll give MTV a chance. Yeah, we'll give them a shot. <laughs> uh, Florida's Spring Hill College. They played their first ever college baseball playoff game yesterday. So, I mean, they've, they've been a team, but they've never been in the playoffs before. First time they played in the playoffs yesterday, I'd imagine the coach gave them the spiel of, you know, hey, these guys have been here before, but we haven't. Let's yeah. get out there. Let's let's show them what uh, Spring Hill College baseball is all about. And then the University of Tampa beat them 35 to 4. 16 runs in the second inning. At one point the game was 22 to nothing in the third <laughs> oh, in the third inning. That's rough. So uh first playoff game in school's history did not go as planned. No, not exactly. Uh, Paramount saying they learned their lesson as far as streaming Yellowstone goes, uh, which uh, uh, you've watched Yellowstone. Sure. That's that's on Peacock, but Paramount has their own streaming service, Paramount Plus. And uh, because they licensed Yellowstone before they launched Paramount Plus, Yellow, their biggest show is on a different streaming service, <laughs> uh, which is why all these Yellowstone spinoffs are happening on Paramount Plus, trying to bring in some of the audience over there. Uh, so now they're saying, yeah, no, we we kind of we got to call an audible on that one. We messed that one <laughs> up. Dropped the ball. We dropped the ball on that. So we're no longer licensing big franchise IP to third parties now that Paramount Plus is a thing. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Some things that happened on this day. I think I, I love this. It says, on this date in 1873... Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis received a patent for blue jeans with copper ribbon. Okay. That was this date, 1873. On this date in 1874, Levi's jeans were first sold. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you can get a dozen jeans for 1350 when they first oh, came man. out. They, they should bring that back as a deal now. <laughs> just over a just over a dollar a pair. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, on this date, 1993, huge numbers. 93 million people watched the final episode of Cheers. Man. Which I think we were talking second biggest finale ever. All right, just behind MASH. And then uh, birthday this day, Cher turned 76 today. Man. That's crazy. That is wild. All right, odds and ends for your Friday. It's KISS. We're givers. The music is so good. From the Carl Tyler Chevrolet Studio. It's awesome. This is Montana's Country Leader, 94.9 KISS FM.
Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM. Smith & Nelson will go commercial free for your Friday. That kicks off at 930 couple stories here ripped from our KISS FM mobile app <laughs> for, uh, for you to find news and topical stories. Yes, indeed. Things that are local for you. This is a fun one. I feel like I feel like stories like this kind of pop up right around this time every year. Right. Uh, this one about a uh, it's talking about Montana students pranking their principals. Yeah. Apparently, uh, there's this antiquated law on the books that uh, if a student rides their horse to school... It is the principal's job to take care of the horse during the school day. <laughs> Old outdated laws are the best. Yeah, that that's one. Like, some of them you can kind of see, like, maybe where they came from if you look at history and stuff. This one's like, why would this be <laughs> Why would this be on the books? Why would it be the principal's job? They got other stuff to worry about. I love the fact that they never get taken off the books, as yes. they say. Yeah, well, they just kind of forget about them, I think, a lot of the time. Uh, but, yeah, it is the principal's job to take care of the horse, which means they are in charge of feeding, watering, making the horse comfortable. And uh, a couple of students have uh, tried that out. Uh, <laughs> actually, Principal Dinison of uh, Sydney High School recently found himself taking care of a horse after a student rode it to school. It was a good sport about it, too. Yeah, definitely, which was uh, pretty cool to see. So he had kind of like a little uh, like a ranching background. Yeah. He, he knew what he was doing. Exactly, yeah. Like, oh, you want to think you're pranking me? Nope, I'll take it. I got it. <laughs> All right, fun story there. Another one, the Northwest Montana Fair earlier this week announcing yes. who will headline the big concert with the fair. And that's going to be Lee Bryce. There it is. Lee Bryce going to be there in Kalispell this summer, which that's going to be a lot of fun. Lee Bryce also over at Headwaters Country Jam. So yeah. Yeah, maybe if you thought you were going to get over to Headwaters and now you're not, maybe you could uh, go see Lee at the fair. This is a good backup plan. All right, details with that with your KISS FM mobile app or KISSFM.com. And we touched on this one yesterday. Grizz football, a new uh, new TV home for the upcoming season. That's right. Before they were on Root Sports and uh, maybe didn't have the have the channel included in your package and trying to figure out how am I going to watch the games. Nah, yes. Now it's all uh, local over-the-air TV. Yes. Be, uh, locally here with k Pax. Yeah, make it a lot easier for people to uh, watch the Grizz even if they're not at the game. Including uh, Brawl of the Wild coming up. All right, so you get details on all of those stories. Check your KISS FM mobile app for more. This part of Smith & Nelson in the Morning, brought to you by Hunter Bay Coffee, Montana's premium gourmet coffee roaster. Get ready to up... You know, newsworthy nugget of the day with Smith & Nelson on 94.9 KISS FM. Brought to you by Farside Sign, Missoula's leading full-service sign and custom vehicle graphics shop. Parts that sign in the 2200 block of South Avenue West. All right. Nugget time is where we share a little piece of information. It's just something we found over the course of the morning. Thought it was interesting. Thought we would share with the hope that you didn't already know about Exactly. It. And this is pretty cool. Uh, the origin of a big 80s uh, classic rock song that uh, I wasn't aware of. Did you know that Steven Tyler uh, came up with the song Dude Looks Like a Lady uh, when he saw a guy with long blonde hair from behind, thought it was a woman, but twist. Did you know that guy was Vince Neil from Motley Crue? <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Yeah, Vince I mean, it Neil all made from... sense, right? Right. Like, you're, you're, it's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's why you come with the song. But then, yeah. Yeah, the extra twist. Like, oh, it's the guy from Motley Crue who is the inspiration for Do Looks Like a Lady by Aerosmith? <laughs> uh, so yeah, kind of a cool thing right there. I wonder how long it took uh, Stephen Tyler to tell Vince Neil that uh, he was the inspiration <laughs> right. for the yeah. song. <laughs> It's not, not really a compliment here. No, like, you know, not exactly. Uh, but there you go. Needs to or not, now you know. Old 